from Casablanca. It is day two here. Um, had a wonderful breakfast as a courtesy of the Airbnb host. Super sweet and kids got talent. So we're gonna do some more exploring today. And yeah, super excited to be here in Casablanca. Crossing the street here is like playing cross the road, like the video game if you ever heard of it. It's pretty stressful and unique. All right, so what the people said online is true to an extent, Casablanca is not the best city to be a tourist in. Um, I don't know, there isn't too much to see or do that is really extraordinary, but I'm loving it here. Um, I really just came to experience the culture and take a step back from the comfort of Western countries especially um, the ones that are fully developed. Casablanca or Morocco was relatively recently a colonized country and now they are developing. I'd say they're doing pretty well. Um, it really is an eye-opening experience to just take it all in, see it all. And yeah, it's been great. Really enjoying it and got a full day ahead of us. All right, we're taking a step away from the busy traffic. We've made it to a peaceful park here in Casablanca. It's called the Arab League Park. It's nice and peaceful, quiet here. Can't even hear the cars honking. Um, so yeah, it's nice. Super grateful to be here in Casablanca, just enjoying it, relaxing, and taking it all in very slowly. We're gonna go see some tourist sites later, but this is a nice start to the day. Fell in love with you watching Casablanca. Back row of the driving show in the flickering light. Alright, so as I'm taking a stressless stroll here, I thought it'd be funny to talk about a plot twist that happened yesterday. So far, with all of these trips during this study abroad semester, I've had something go wrong. Um, if you've watched from the beginning, you may know that my flight to Iceland got delayed and there was a whole situation with that. Um, and then in France, I got on the wrong train. Uh, Sweden, something else happened. Uh, I haven't posted the video yet, but you'll find out soon enough. And this time, yesterday, Lufthansa told me that my flight back to Copenhagen got canceled because of a worker's strike in Germany. So yeah, there's no airport ground staff to sort of um, manage the airports. And because I'm connecting in Frankfurt on my way back to Copenhagen, there is a big disconnect and it's a huge problem. But thankfully I got it all sorted out. I'm gonna leave nine hours earlier now. So I guess one day less to explore Casablanca. That's okay, at least we're going home safe, uh, looking on the bright side. And we get to stop in Portugal. So a new country probably won't be able to leave the airport but at least I'll be able to say I've been to Portugal they've got this little exercise playground let's go see if we can do some pull-ups popcorn and cokes beneath the stars became champagne and caviar making love on a long hot summer's night So this park is a pretty cool place to be. It's right in the middle of a lot of attractions 
and right here is the Sacred Heart Cathedral, or in French, the Sacré Cœur Cathedral. So we're gonna see if we can go inside this, and then afterwards we'll go to some other attractions that are nearby here. From the spot, a rocky light in your eyes, making magic at the movies in my own shadow. Okay, so they have like an exposition going on today, so can't go inside until 1 p.m. But I don't think I'll be back at that time. We'll see. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, and people are really chill, so really cool people. I am now here in the Muhammad the Fifth Square. Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, Muhammad the Fifth was a former king of Morocco. Yeah, Morocco is under a monarchy, and now I think the king is Muhammad the Sixth. So yeah, pretty neat stuff. It's out here, very beautiful, and everybody's having a great time. Back on the main road, I'm gonna go try to find some lunch, some local Moroccan cuisine. Um, and then Abus, we're on the way there, which uh, there's uh, apparently a market there. And markets are definitely a cultural icon here in Morocco. So I wanna go check that out. Alright, I'm out here beautiful flowers and it's about 11 right now and I just want to admire the weather blue skies nice and warm it's almost like summer um, really missed the warm weather when I'm in Copenhagen it's always cold and windy there even though the Sun's out it's it's nice but uh, looking forward to the spring in Copenhagen where things warm up and right now right here I'm getting a preview of the tropical weather that I missed. Alright, this is the Royal Palace. It's the main residence for the King of Morocco. So it's pretty protected. I don't think I can get in today. Um, definitely not. It's high security there, but it's nice to see it in person and still just enjoying this warm weather, walking around. Yeah, having a great time, as always. Alright, so I made it to Habus. It's sort of like a marketplace, and this might be the closest thing to Medina that I get to experience here in Casablanca. Yeah, it's really nice. Got some souvenirs already and I'm gonna do some more walking around just exploring it. So my Airbnb hostess actually recommended me this restaurant. It's really nearby the Airbnb and it's on the way back. So I figured that I'll stop and eat there before and then I'll go drop my stuff off. It's nice. And then in the afternoon, we got something else planned. I guess our love story will never be seen On the big white silver screen But it hurt just as bad when I had to watch you burn
had a wonderful Moroccan lunch at Medina restaurant. Interesting name because um, I just visited a sort of Medina in Casablanca. Anyways, uh, yeah, it was a great meal for only a hundred dirham, which is just about 10 US dollars. Wow. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go drop my stuff off now and do something this afternoon. Okay, we've dropped off our stuff and now we're gonna make our way back to the mosque, Hassan II. And it turns out he was actually also a former king. So that's pretty cool. Um, mosque named after another king. Um, yeah, today we're gonna try to go inside. There's a tour at 3 p.m. So we're gonna try to make that. Hey guys, it's me back at it again with the commentary. So here's sort of the mosque museum at the entrance before you get to go to the mosque. So they displayed some cedar artwork. Cedar is pretty significant in Morocco and they do love their cedar artwork too. Um, it's pretty nice. And then shortly after, of course, I went to see the main attraction, the Hassan II Mosque, and it's absolutely huge. You have to see it in person. Once you step inside, you have to take your shoes off. It's pretty interesting, but yeah, you have to show your respect. And the entrance is so grand. You can see the intricate designs of artwork on the ceilings again. The chandeliers are massive. And to a certain extent, it really leaves you speechless. So inside, there were also tour guides and I joined a group, listened along. So here's some facts. We were only allowed to enter during non-prayer times and prayer happens five times a day at dawn, midday, the afternoon, sunset, and nighttime. Also, the mosque is mainly built over water because the Quran mentions that the throne of God rests upon the water. So because the mosque is built over water, the architects and designers had to address humidity to prevent corrosion. And one such solution is hidden in the columns of the bath slash shower rooms. The columns actually have a way to absorb humidity. Well, that's basically a brief overview of what I've learned. I myself am not a follower of Islam nor an expert in architecture and design. So this was an insightful learning experience. All right, we're back outside. It's really beautiful inside and we learned a lot. So now I'm probably gonna head out and just walk around, do some more exploring along the coast of Morocco and Casablanca. All right guys, did the same walk as yesterday. Started over here and made our way all the way here. Um, we can go further today because the sun is still very high up and it's still early. I think it's only about 4.30 p.m. So we can do some more walking and explore even more. Go further down the coast and see what there is over there. All right, we've definitely made it a lot further than yesterday. There's a lot going on here. This is sort of like a I don't know, touristy area. There's a lot of upscale restaurants and clubs right by the beach. But yeah, it's great. We got all this nice view. Just walking along the ocean. Okay, I'll probably turn back here. It's enough for today, I think. Uh, I gotta save some for next time when I come back to Morocco. Definitely had a great experience so far. Um, hopefully it stays that way for just 24 more hours and then I'm out of here. Uh, it's been great so far, yeah, really love it. And hope to return in the future. All right, 
but that will just about do it for today. Um, I got a flight tomorrow at 4.50 p.m. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm not gonna be doing much tonight or tomorrow that I haven't already shown you. So I will probably see you guys tomorrow at the airport on the transit way back to Copenhagen. Hopefully that's a little bit interesting. Um, we'll figure it out and see you guys.